My name is Patty. Today we are going to review the decomposition of water using a device called a Hoffman apparatus. This apparatus uses electricity to separate water into hydrogen and oxygen in a process called electrolysis. Let's begin. To set up the Hoffman apparatus, we will need the following materials. Hoffman apparatus, water, sodium sulfate solution, wire leads, power source, outlet for power source. To start, we will add some sodium sulfate solution to the beaker of water. Then we will add the water to the apparatus until the level reaches the zero milliliter line. Once you've filled up the apparatus with water, you now need to close the stopcocks. Connect the wire leads to the wires at the bottom of the Hoffman apparatus. Red wire to one side, black wire to the other side. Next, connect the black and the red wires to the power source. The power source should be set to volts. Plug the power source into a wall outlet. Now all we need to do to start our reaction is to turn on the power switch. Look closely at each tube. You should see bubbles forming and rising to the top of the tube. We will now let the apparatus sit for approximately two hours. After some time, we will see a significant amount of gas has collected in each tube. The gas has pushed the remaining water into and up the central tube. You may notice that the volume of gas released at the cathode is double the amount of gas released at the anode. So which tube contains hydrogen and which contains oxygen? We can use our formula for the decomposition of water to make a prediction. Here is the original unbalanced equation. We have one oxygen on the left side and two on the right. So we must place a two in front of our water molecule. The oxygens are now balanced with two on each side. Now let's balance our hydrogens. We have two times two, or four, on the left, and only two on the right. We must multiply the right side by two. If we examine the product side of this reaction, it appears that we should be producing hydrogen and oxygen in a two to one ratio. So which tube contains which gas? Make your prediction and we will test them in the next section. Before we test our gases, we need to turn the power source off. Now we can review what we should see when each gas is exposed to a heat source, such as a burning splint. If hydrogen is present, we can expect to hear a sharp pop or squeak. If oxygen is present, the embers from a burnt splint should glow or possibly ignite. Let's try it. I am now going to use a test tube to collect some gas. Before the next step, I'm going to call in a lab partner. Penny's going to help me by lighting the wooden splint. I will use a new test tube to collect the other gas.
We now know that the tube with more gas contained hydrogen and the side with less gas contained oxygen. Were you right in your predictions? I hope so. Thank you, Penny. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of the decomposition of water using the Hoffman apparatus. If you have any questions, please speak to your instructor or lab assistant. Thanks for watching and happy experimenting.